Hey, welcome back to Psychonauts. We're in the forgetful forest. Looking for some bees. Okay, I'm just gonna take one of you on a little trip to see an old friend. Swipe? Ooh, I got three. Even better. Not so fast! Lizzie? I just got that thing set again. The Green Needle Witch! Where? Th that way! That way! Ugh, you poor city kid. Do yourself a favor and stay indoors where it's safe. Phew! Okay. Better get these bees back to Compton so we can find his friend. And so I can get that senior league pass. Yeah, I guess I better. That was kind of a weird one. I thought that was going to take us a lot longer. Uh, let's see. We gotta go to the quarry, huh? Research and development. C. What was B? Okay, yeah.
Hmm. Oh, there it is. Is there a bone around here? Anyone want to see my oarsman's badge? No? Nice to see you again, Rasputin. And you've managed to stay clothed. Very good. Wow. Look at all these gadgets. Gadgets? Sorry. Machines. Psycho-reactive technology? Rasputin, I thought you would recognize these for what they are. These are dreams. Where do you think machines come from? They spring forth from the human imagination. They are human thought made real. I invented that one when I was angry. When I designed that one, I was sad. That one, uh, I was just hungry. Incredible! Glad you like them. You know, I'm not supposed to check out equipment to interns, but Agent Nine seems to put a lot of faith in you, my boy. So, if you'd like to try one out, just let me know. Oh, man. Agent Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? any cool devices to lend out? Shh. Interns aren't allowed to check out my devices. But if you were to take your time, say, delivering one of these to Sasha or Mia, well, that would be none of my business. This one is a thought tuner. Use it to find stray thoughts floating around the world. And this psi-enhanced camera is for creating photographic memories. I'd train you how to use them, but uh, that would only increase my legal liability. Have fun. All right. And thanks for delivering those items to Sasha and Mia. Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous. You shouldn't be back here. It's not safe. Also, personal bubble. Approved hazing rituals for new agents. <sighs> Some things never change, I guess. Voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Uh, their bodies are, and their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity. We've only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the Psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. You 
loot. This one's got attitude to spare. Bowser. I kind of want to poke this one. I'll take that card. Oop. Can't leave this card lying around. Small for Nick. Doesn't have the oblongata I'm looking for. Hey, this one looks not bad. Not bad at all. It's been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind Poppins. Hmm. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? <laughs> How long have you been in here? What's your name? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive. Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well... Basically, right now, you're kind of a brain in a jar. Uh-huh. But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything! I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe, or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Let's combine that Psychor with your card so you can rank up.
seems useful. Tell me if that works. I mean, uh, tell me how you like it. No refunds. You don't want to wear something like that for too long. Okay, let's go deliver the bees. Hmm. I'm getting the sense there are some stray thoughts nearby. Let's do that. I should check it out with my thoughts. Thoughts. Stray thoughts. Agent Bull, I got some visitors here who are really excited to. Ah, I said one. I only needed one bee. Shoo, shoo, get out of here. I got extra. They seem friendly. Oh, no, don't all talk at once, please. I can't take it. I can't. It's too much. Too much. Oh, no, don't explode. And don't explode me. Agent Bull? Ah! Would you mind if I made a quick and very quiet, uh, wellness check inside your mind? Ah! Uh. Scream once for yes, I may enter your mind, and twice for no. Ah! Uh. Great! Out of my way, bees! I'm not ready. Cassie's not here. Not ready for what? Dinner. Uh-oh. Let me guess. We're on the menu? No. Worse. Judgment. Court is in session. Please remain standing. If you're able. Ah! Never touch! 
Anything but this. It's time for... One lucky contestant prepare three increasingly complicated dishes in an attempt to please our celebrity judges. Impossible! He'll never do it. He's nothing without Cassie. <laughs> and he's the nice one. <laughs> well, let's get to our first dish. A tragic delicacy from a troubled nation. A Grulovian drowned egg. First, our contestant will have to find a very outspoken egg. Oh, me! Pick me! Boil it in hot water. I'm all fired up and ready to go. Prepare it with an unruly onion. He said my name! That's been sliced into pieces. Just call me Pork Stopper. Put them both together on a plate and see if the judges can bear two. Finish your dish before the clock runs out, and you'll win valuable prizes from the Mystery Box. Ooh. What do you say? Think you're up to the challenge? Sounds easy. We got this. Right, partner? Partner? Yeah, what was I expecting? The egg. <gasps> <It's happening! laughs> Let's see if he remembers what to do with it. I feel good about this. Careful, that steam is hot. Note those goggles right off you. We got this, right? I think I hear some emotional baggage. Right. I should have bought some side pops. Okay, where's my egg? <laughs> it's happening! <laughs> my runny days are over! Never boils. 
Well, don't just sit there resting on your boils. We've got other ingredients to prepare. The pork chopper's action hoof? I think I hear some emotional baggage. Try not to get it. <laughs> Should I die there? Whoops. Well, let's get to our first, first dish. A tragic delicacy. Alright. I think that's enough for now. Uh, pick it up next time. Cooking challenge. Thanks for watching.